Hello and welcome to another video. Today I am bringing you my May book haul and it is not as big as April's or March's. It's not small, but it's not as big. <laughs> um, so book box wise, I have so far only received the April Luma Crate, which was In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland. The edition of this is absolutely gorgeous and I absolutely love it. Um, and then my <laughs> Illumicrate Infernal Devices set came. The box is gorgeous. And if I take these out, I just want to show you. Look at the edges. They are gorgeous. <laughs> I'm fully obsessed with these. They are stunning and I love them so much. Next up, I'm going to go through the books I have been gifted in May. So first up, we have Die Volume 1 by Gillen, Hands and Cowles. This was gifted to me by the lovely Lisa over at Lisa Does Life. Thank you so much. This sounds absolutely incredible. I have seen, I think it's G talking about this and it just sounds so good. Next up, we have three books that were gifted to me by my friend Charlie. So first up, we have Your Turn to Die by Sue Warman. This is a thrillery type book, I think, but I'm very here for it. And then she also gifted me the first two books in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, which is Dark Lover and Lover Eternal by J.R. Ward. Um, these, she actually read the first book, I think, and then bought the entire series because it was on a really good offer. So she didn't need the first two books on their own anymore. So she has kindly given them to me. And then Kyra. <laughs> Kyra gifted me a few books. So first up she gifted me Shadowfell by Juliet Marilia and I'm really excited to read this. I think this is self-published and it's like fantasy I think but yeah very excited to read this. She also gifted me Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I have heard people say this is very much like a YA Game of Thrones and I'm intrigued to read this. And then she gifted me one of the most gorgeous editions of Jane Eyre to ever be presented to you. This is the Chilton edition. It has gold edges and it is absolutely stunning. I am fully obsessed with this. I absolutely adore it. So next up, I'm going to go through my pre-orders for the month of May that actually came in May. So first up, we have Crater Lake Evolution by Jennifer Killick. I have not read the first Crater Lake book yet. However, there's pretty edges and I think I'm going to like it. It's spooky, it's middle grade. I think I'm going to really like these, these two books. So I pre-ordered this one. Then we have Kate in Waiting by Becky Abitali. Um, This did actually come out in April. However, because I, I bought this with the ticket to the event i didn't get it till after the event and the event was in mid-may um but i'm really excited to read this i love becky albertelli's books and i'm really excited to read this one next up we have bookishly ever after by lucy parry this is the third and final book in the paper and heart society series and i have loved this series so much the second book was one of my favorite books last year and this one follows ed who i love to pieces so I'm really excited to read this and of course I was going to pre-order it. Next up we have one of my all-time favourite authors and it's The Yearbook by Holly Bourne. This one has the gorgeous, this is the Waterstones edition with the gorgeous edges and I'm really excited to read this. I loved hearing her talk about it on the event with Becky Albertalli and it's made me just so much more excited to read this. Then we have Rainbow Grape by Laura Ellen Anderson. This one is the Red Spray Edges one and I'm actually pretty gutted because there is an edition with navy edges and it's got a rainbow down the side and nope I thought that one was only available for um if you bought a ticket to the online event but I saw some in my localish store the other day um with the rainbow edge after already receiving this edition um but I'm really excited to read this and there is a character in this um who is basically Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin and I'm just so excited to read it. It sounds so good and we're, we're, we're loving middle grade at the moment. 
Then we have Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. This is the Waterstones edition. It is also the signed by the author edition. I'm so excited to read this. I absolutely adore the Red Queen series. And I cannot wait to get to something new from Victoria Aveyard. And then I should have really put this on the book box books, but my fairy loot edition of Illusionary by Zareda Cordova came. I absolutely, oh, I kind of match the cover. <laughs> um, I absolutely adored Incendiary. It was one of my favourite books, or it was like very high up. I absolutely loved it last year when I read it. And so when I saw that Fairy Loot were doing a matching edition, you know I was ordering that. And look at the edges. Oh, it's beautiful and I'm excited to read this. So then we move on to the kind of small pile of books, which is just books that I decided to buy for myself this month. So first up, we have The Eternals by Jack Kirby. This is the complete collection. This is all 19 issues of the comic from the 70s, I believe. I think it was 76 to 78. Yes, 76 to 78. So this is the, I think it's the original original, but um, I have been wanting to get hold of this for a few years now. And whenever I look, it's out of stock. And it finally was in stock. And I think it's because it was just after the trailer dropped for the movie that's coming out in November this year. So I jumped at the chance of ordering it and I am going to get to it before the film comes out. Next up, we have my 12th edition of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. But this is the Chilton edition, but look, it's silver edges. And it is just absolutely gorgeous and I am obsessed. It's gorgeous, I love it. Next up we have Dark Stars by Danielle Rowlands. This is the third book in the Dark Stars, Dark Stars trilogy and I'm really excited to read this. I do have book number two on my TBR for June and I'll be buddy reading that. So then hopefully I will get to this very soon. This only just came out. Um, it's very hard to get hold of in the UK. Um, I Black Wolves come to the rescue on that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this. And then the last four books are the four books I picked up in Waterstones and the Works when I did my little shopping trip with Liv and Charlie on the uh, like last week of May. So first up we have Everdark by Abby, Abby Elphinstone. I do already have the World Book Day version of this but they re-released it as an actual, an actual book and I believe it is dyslexia friendly. It's very big writing, spaced out and... I'm excited. I still have not read this. This is part of the Unmapped Chronicles series, which is Rumble Star, Jungle Drop and Crackle Dawn Dragons about to come out. And I'm really excited to read this. I have loved the first two books and yeah, looking forward to picking this one up. Next up, we have The Switch by Beth O'Leary. So I don't really know much about this other than People seem to love this and people also seem to love the flat share and I'm trying this new thing where I read more adult contemporary and this popped out to me in the works so I thought why not pick it up? Literally my reasoning. Next up we have Wranglestone by Darren Cholton. Now I have been wanting to pick this book up for a pretty long while and I just haven't. And then I saw that the cover had been redesigned and this cover, like the original cover is also gorgeous, but this cover is actually by Carl James Mumford. So, you know, I, I love the illustrations and I'm pretty sure this is a zombie middle grade or zombie YA. Um, and I need more zombie books in my life because I love zombies. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get to this and I absolutely love this cover and I was really lucky because on the shelf, like on the main shelf where all the authors are in alphabet alphabetical order, they had the original cover but then they had a different stand that was separate down the side and it had quite a few of these covers so I'm really glad I noticed this cover because this is the cover I wanted. And then finally, yeah, I know we're already at the end. We have Perfect on Paper by Sophie Gonzalez. I absolutely loved Only Mostly Devastated and I had to pick this one up even more so um, if you are up to date on Twitter stuff. People were being pretty 
crappy <laughs> because this um, they were trying to say this isn't LGBT because um, the main character is bi but she's with a guy and it's like she's still bi <laughs> um, as a bisexual girl who is in a relationship with a guy I'm still bisexual and I already had this on my wish list but I, when I saw it was in Waterstones I just took it off my wish list and bought it for myself because I need this book and I know I like the author's stuff so I'm really excited to read this even more so just because I feel like I'm going to relate to the main character and yeah really excited to read this one so that was my May haul I feel like I've forgotten one but if I have it's too late now so it's fine but i hope you enjoyed this if you did hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you've read any of these uh let me know what you thought of them no spoilers obviously and i will see you next time bye